Terrible one. Okay. Hello and welcome back to Polar Academy. Today uh, we're gonna work on a geometric problem. But before I go to the problem, I'm gonna do you a quick run through about the concepts that are gonna be used in this problem. And I suggest that if you're already familiar with these, um, l the, with the concepts I'm gonna about to list, you should move on to our one, one of our other videos. But if you are not, you should probably stay tuned and watch this video. So our first concept that we're gonna go through are the familiarity with rhombuses. Um, triangles and rectangles. Our second concept that's going to be used are similar triangles. And then our third one are um, Pythagoras theorem. Our fourth are the simultaneous equations and the fifth and last are the quadratic formula and equations. Now I'm going to go to the problem. Now we are asked to state the area of the rhombus. So I'm going to show the area of the rhombus in five quick, easy steps. So our first step is to acknowledge and accept that the area of the rhombus, of the rhombus, is um, SH, which is the side length of the rhombus times the height. Now, also remember that the rhombuses have four sides of equal length, so it doesn't matter which side you pick, but for this problem, we're going to pick a particular side length. And our, so now our second step is to um, acknowledge, and let's go to figure 1.1 here. And this figure 1.1 says that the, take a diagonal of the rectangle and consider, and consider all the new interior rectangles that are formed with their vertices and the diagonal. See all the triangles, rectangles here? And so the thing is, the the since these rectangles are all similar rectangles, we're going to, um, the proportional ratio stays the same. So the H and W is 3 fourths, which is height on the width. Now, in our case for this problem, um, height width is actually S from this from here. So it's actually H on S. H on S is equal to 3 fourths. So now let's go to our third step. Where now we move down to figure 1.2. And this here states that for any point on the diagonal, Pythagoras, Pythagoras theorem states that 4 minus s all squared plus h squared is equal to s squared. 4 minus s all squared plus h squared is equal to s squared. Now, we get 4 minus s from, look here, we, this is our triangle, and since this is 4 and that's s, this must be 4 minus s. And this is the height of both the, this, this triangle here and the rhombus. So, now that we've have, we have two equations, we're going to turn this for our fourth step into a simultaneous equation. We're going to use our... 4 minus s all squared plus h squared is equal to s squared and our h on s is equal to 3 fourths to make a system of equations which is 4 minus s all squared plus s squared is equal to s squared. That's our first equation. And our second equation, let's go down a bit, is <clears throat> our second equation is h on s is equal to 3 fourths. Now we're going to expand the. This is our, sorry. This is our second equation. Now we're going to expand the first equation, and we're going to get that. We're going to get 16 minus 8s plus s squared plus s squared is equal to s squared, which can be simplified to zero is equal to s squared minus 8s plus 16. So now that we've gotten our first equation expanded, we're going to um, solve for h in our second equation and get that h is equal to 3s on 4. And we're going to plug it into h square. We're going to plug it into h squared minus 8s plus 16 is equal to 0. And we get that we get that's 9s squared on 16. See up there. 
Well, 9s squared on 16 minus 8s plus 16 is equal to 0. And so we go down here and we times 16 to both sides to get rid of 16. And we get uh, that uh, 9s squared. 9s squared. Um, <clears throat> 9s squared minus 128s plus 256. Now, this actually may seem uh, very uh, messy, and it actually is. So, we're going to use our graphing calculator and plug in the... We're going we're gonna to solve for us on our graphing calculators. And we're going to get that S is equal to 2.4. 2.4. And now we're going to... Since we want to find the area, we also have to time find H, and so we can times it to S. And so we're going to plug it in back here, where it says that h on s here is equal to 3 fourths. Now we solve for h. This time we get h on s, which is equal to h on 2.4, height on 2.4, and times 2.4 to 3 fourths, and divide by 4, and we get that h is equal to 1.8. And so I get that h is equal to 1.8. Now then we multiply those two together, and again, uh, use your graphing calculator. You can do it in your head if you want to. And we get to H is equal to SH is equal to 4.32. And that is the area of the rhombus. Thank you for watching this Claire Academy video. And once again, if you have any problems on familiarity with all of the concepts I'm doing, or um, you just have some problem with the arithmetic, you can write a comment or you can contact me by email. Thank you for watching this Calera Academy once again, and on behalf of the Calera Corporation, we hope this, hope, we hope this helps you with your um, geometric problems and things with rhombi, triangles, and rectangles. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.